well with that. But, to be honest, see you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no! This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your Fred. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? We'll think the fuck again. What was all that, then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a lyre been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Hold and prepare. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvis. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Ace here. Oh, right. Might have found that one. Careful, brother. That was flammable. Well, an abandoned service tunnel. Ah! 
Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the Whoa. lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again! You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not the champion. We're each entitled to our
These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. <gasps> Sigil arrows should work with ice as well. That was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. Whoa, whoa. 
We'll need to get one of those gates open. Seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? I'll wait till we can redirect the water to get that wheel turning. The water rushing above us, to be clear. That worked, shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't, or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Dangerous until we've done that. <laughs> 
Giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with a disparity in size or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. <laughs> There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it, you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. <laughs> all right. Let's get that wheel turning. Go! <laughs> ah, teamwork. You're on fire! 
Kratos. É bomba. for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. I can feel it. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it.
Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! Long as you know that ain't the way to the fort. Go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Loose it up when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <laughs> to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering. Snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? See what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, 
Did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser. You just give me the signal. Right. Now. On it. to be up here to use it, you dig? Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Again. Promising. Got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. the other stuff.
money. I think they seen us. What we oh. doing, butt sausage? Where we going, huh? Ha! Hoo! Ha! Hoo! Oh. Yeah. Finally! Now we can ride on up to the fort. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey! Got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, what? Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. Show me what you got. <laughs> <laughs> creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it, said I was too much too. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No, fuck you! It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way! Let me look! Oh, fuck knuckles! Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things, follow me! Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale.
everything in this dang city my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to be behold. Yes? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. Oh! He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. 
Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Mm, back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plum dropped. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own money. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. I do when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's on to the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Victor, almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? The fuck was 
was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck do you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got ball in here! What you like? That's the stop! Take the first time with your spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns! What hell? It's just, just like old times here! I'm gonna put this more for boarding by myself. doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative ahead. Got to be on the left! Oh, lick my face! There's eyeballs on Saul! Get your throwing arm in here! Behind you, brother! Good there! Better take out that nest or it'll be eyeball city out here. <laughs> 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 
Circumstances on the right quick. the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Still my balls are taking over them ground. <laughs> Better beat them out. Lesson? Take note of that there, watch him, Mahoos. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those drum will take him down.
Set up shop over yonder. I see a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go? <laughs> well, thank you kindly, Brock. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone now a good time I just want to talk dad to dad speaking of which imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door he's doing well by the way and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Oh, 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 oh. 
So tell me then, what's the new weapon? A spear. One with the powers of Drotnia. Interesting. Well, come on. We can discuss it on the train. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you? Aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Hmm. So this drop near spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone is a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. <laughs> and if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. Go! 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 Go!
Good, Kratos. Off your back. Hey, big guy. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Are you all right? Not the first time I've had an ace here threaten my life. But? Thinking I'd like it to be the last. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True, though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am... tired. Sure, nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing, whatever. Still shit like a shit. Why? For some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything you see it as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. Become a whole multi. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around.
Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then, hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. I'm not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he 
he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. <sighs> Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Ray. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Mm. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son. What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Three, hey. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that, a, that a good idea? Training? I mean, 
I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this, and uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif, and uh, Trius. See you later, Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. The two of you, I swear.